how I quit nicotine in under three weeks and how you can too. Welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. This is Nicholas Renner here coming to you with a video about quitting nicotine, quitting smoking, quitting that vile vapor that you so ever so constantly just want to take a hit of, put right into your lungs and keep inhaling, inhaling like it is your oxygen tank. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been addicted to nicotine for years, years and years, stemming all the way back to high school, going into the bathrooms, hitting people's nicotines, hiding away from the teachers, getting in trouble, getting out of school, getting every type of trouble that I could get, okay? Have you been struggling with quitting? Every time you try to quit, you just go right back to it. So you go so long and then something just brings you right back. So you go a couple days and the urge just pulls you right back in. Do you ever get to a point where you're just sick and tired of vaping? Your lungs are killing you. You can barely run. You feel disconnected from the world. You feel lonely. You feel like this is not fulfilling you anymore. And you just keep getting so much anxiety. Your palms are sweaty. Your knees are weak. Every single bad thing that can happen happens and every time you just keep it you keep hitting the vape and it's not satisfying you well, ladies and gentlemen i'm here to tell you drugs are not going to satisfy because there's a god-sized hole inside of you that only jesus christ can fill how do you quit vaping well ladies and gentlemen every time i tried to quit every time i tried to quit my own power i couldn't do it okay there's only one way you're going to quit, and you're going to quit by Jesus Christ. So how did how did I quit, ladies and gentlemen? So for years and years and years, I would keep talking about quitting. I keep talking about, oh, I'm going to quit, guys. I, I, I'd be around all the people doing the same thing. So so number one, you got to stop hanging around the people that are vaping. So I know you out there, all your buddies are vaping. All your buddies have a vape. They're passing it around. They want you to hit it. They just got this new flavor and you know, you just can't wait. They got the blue raspberry, they got the watermelon, they got whatever, whatever came out. And you just want to hit it. They're like, "Hey man, you want to try this new vape?" No, you got to be like, "Hey, I'm trying to quit. I don't want to be around that anymore. Get that away from me." You know, and if it gets to a certain point, ladies and gentlemen, if you're trying to better your life and your friends don't let you better your life, you got to do do what's right for you. And when you do the right thing, they're gonna come and look at you, and they're gonna see you as a testimony. And you're, they're gonna, they're gonna want to stop doing. They're gonna see the benefits that you get, the confidence and everything that comes with quitting that nicotine. And they're gonna want a part of it, and they're gonna want to know how you did it. And you can share this video to them. So number two, stop counting the days. A lot of people use that to help themselves, in my opinion. Counting days is like counting to the point where the next time you're going to hit it, the next time you're going to get back into vaping. Oh, I've gone 100 days. I've gone 200 days. Oh, man, the streak is gone. No, stop counting. There's a point where you're just going to forget and you're not that person anymore. You are not that person anymore. You got to tell yourself, I'm not a vapor. Okay, I'm not counting the days until I relapse again. I'm not a vapor anymore. I'm not a drug addict. I'm sick and tired of it. I'm not. Step number three is stop trying so hard in your power, okay? There's a lot of people out here that they don't they don't believe in God, they don't believe in his power. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you that it's not about following all these strict laws. It's not about this pharisaical law. It's not about do this and do that. And you're going to be able to quit vaping or you, you're going to do this. Because I've seen so many of my friends or so many people just try to come to God or try to quit all these drugs and they just see they see it as oh I gotta follow these rules well listen here when you get close to God when you get close to Jesus the love that go, goes through you the power that goes through you when you love God you start to hate the things he hates and love the things he loves and he hates sin when you repent you're gonna want to go away from all these things you're gonna go want to go away from vaping you're gonna want to go away from drinking and all these things okay so when I repented, when I came to God, I stopped wanting to do those things. I stopped wanting to hang around those people. And obviously the devil's going to tempt you. He's going to tempt you. When you repent, he, he, there's going to be people. I remember when I quit smoking, I quit vaping. There'll be people coming down my street. Like, yo, I just got this thing. Do you want to smoke? I just got this peace pipe. Do you want to smoke this? Ladies and gentlemen, no. Like all of a sudden, oh, I just got this 12 pack. When you're in that world, you know, everyone's gonna, you're gonna be like them, okay? You're gonna be like them. 
you know, you're going to be fiending for that nicotine and they're, they're, they're not going to give it to you. But all of a sudden you stop, you, you, you do good. You're, you're on fire for God. You're, you're giving your life to God. All of a sudden they're not going to, they're, they're going to bring you in. They're going to be like, Hey man, you want to hit this nicotine? Hey man, you want to come to this party? You want to smoke this? I got this free thing. I got this like old vape I can give you. Oh, I just bought this vape for you, man. They're going to do everything they can because we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against the powers and principalities in the heavenly places. We're fighting against spiritual warfare here. We're fighting against demons. Jesus doesn't hate people. He, that's why, that's why everybody gets confused here. We don't hate the people, we hate the sin. The sin, because we're not, because that's not them. That's not truly them. It's not truly you vaping right there. It's not truly you smoking. You know it's not you. That's not your true self. It's about unlocking your true self, redeeming your true self. When you come to God, when you give your life to Him, and He's making everything whole, He's turning it around. He's, you're unlocking your true self, okay? You're becoming that person that He created you to be. All right, and it's not gonna be easy. It's not easy. This is this isn't easy. Okay, you pray to him, he's gonna take away a lot of this pain. So I'd be trying so hard in my own power. I'd be trying so hard to quit smoking, going through the withdrawals, all this different type of stuff, cold sweats, you know, anxiety. Just want to want to be around it, ladies and gentlemen. You just focus on God, and He'll clean you up. Don't try to do it in your power. So the biggest things that held me back was the people around me. Every time falling back in the sin, every time wanting to hit their nicotine, those were the biggest problems and the biggest things were trying in my own power and not giving it to God. So when you don't give it to God, you're going to keep falling short. You're going to keep falling back. And obviously we all fall short, but there's a difference between the person falling into sin, repenting of it, getting back up. Righteous man falls seven times, gives back up. But the other person, you know, the difference between a lamb and the pig the pig is going into the mud. He's going around in the mud. He's swirling around in the mud. The difference between the lamb and the pig is you're you're going to be the lamb. You're the lamb. And when you fall in the mud, you get back out and you do not want to go in the mud. You get out and you're like, man, I'm dirty. I'm, I'm, I got to go get cleaned up. That lamb gets right out of that mud. You're like the lamb. You're going to get out of the mud. You're going to stay out of the mud. You're going to praise God because he's going to keep you away from Sid, keep you away from temptation. Devil's always going to come in and try to tempt you. You got to be like, get behind me, Satan. Okay? That's why praying and fasting is so key, so vital. You got to pray and fast. Ladies and gentlemen, those are the ways I quit smoking, I quit vaping. I know you can do it too. If you believe in this message, if you want this message to get out to more people, ladies and gentlemen, I used to be one of the worst vapors and worst smokers i was out there in the world doing all the worst things okay i was doing it for years i had box mods i had all this different type of stuff so you know this is a credible message i had one of the first vapes you could ever get i had a jewel i had junos i said galley box mod smock i had the soren drop the soren air i had uh i had rda's drisk i had a squonk mod I was got to, got to the point I was putting salt and nicotine in my box mods. Okay, that was bad. That's my brain's probably whacked from that. All right, because this will, this will cause irreparable damage. All right, your heart, everything. I had everything under the sun. Once the disposables came out, I had every disposable that you could think of. Okay, a lot of this stuff's coming from China. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you approve this message, you want to share this to your buddies. Share this to your buddies. Get this out there. Ladies and gentlemen, like, comment, and subscribe. If you believe Jesus is King, if you believe this message helped you today, spoke to you, Nicholas Renner over and out.